the Sam Lehman Sports Desk with Kurt Pegler. Sectional night in girls basketball and meeting number three of the year between rivals Morton and Washington. They split the first two games. This one's the biggest one. The winner heads to the Sweet 16. The loser is going home. Morton opens the game on a 16-4 run. Ellie Van Menon to Peyton Hayes. The freshman with a big hoop. Washington's Avery Tibbs down the lane. For this bucket, she scores 10 to lead the Panthers. Morton's lead was eight at halftime. Big hoop in the second half. Ellie Van Menon around the perimeter for a 10-point Morton advantage, but Washington just kept fighting back on the break. Danny Gaday to Mazzie O'Brien. It's a five-point game. However, Abby Van Menon with nine points, a big hoop here late. Morton wins 40-34. They'll play number one Lincoln in Thursday's sectional championship. Class 4A sectional semifinal. Normal community taking on United Township. Raina Powers to Marco Reynolds. Nice little soft jumper that goes in. Normal community down four at halftime and explodes in the third quarter, hitting six three-pointers. Allie Insta three. She had 17. Kenna Malinowski, same corner, same result. Three more here. And Olivia Corson scores 23 to lead Normal Community. And the Iron advance with a big win, 70 to 50. To the Class 2A Canton sectional where Central Catholic takes on number one Notre Dame, Julia Mingus. Big night. Three-pointer here. She led the Irish with 14 points. Then, senior Maya Warder with a tough drive. Bucket on the foul. Eight points for her on the night. Saints trying to keep up. Lauren Emma, terrific move in the paint here. She led Central Catholic with 12, but it's all Irish. Lexi Bear to Emmy Wardle. Look at this move. She scores 10. And then Maya Wardle to Bear on the break. The top-ranked Irish advance, 66-31. They await the winner of the night cap with DMAC taking on Canton. Little Giants get a power move here from Ava Wagner. Hoop and harm. She had 16, and the students love that move. Talk about a power move. T-Max Elise Han just plows her way to the hoop here and scores. She had several tough hoops down low tonight. Dahlia De Jesus defense block here. Canton scoreless for 12 straight minutes. And then De Jesus on the offensive end gets a putback bucket here to beat the third quarter buzzer. Natalie Downing hits a three in the fourth for Canton to get D-Max lead down to four. But the Chiefs are too strong tonight. Lexi Cottingham with 17 to lead everybody. D-Max wins. They'll play Notre Dame for the sectional championship on Thursday night in Canton. Class 1A sectional, Peoria Heights takes on Gibson City, Melvin Sibley, the Patriots, Emily Dana to Janessa Wallace. She nails the three. Then it's Wallace returning the favor. She's going to find Dana in the corner, and it's her turn to hit the triple. And then Dana is going to step inside the arc here. In fact, she's going to drive it. Tough drive here and score. And then it's Rihanna Foster with a rebound bucket and the foul for Peoria Heights. But GCMS ends the Patriots' season. 51-43. Second game in Colfax tonight as Leroy taking on Cisna Park Crescent Iroquois and Leroy's Molly Buckles down the lane scored to the foul three-point play. Then here it's Buckles knocking down a three. She had a big night showing her range here. Haley Coxton with a terrific drop down pass to Natalie Loy for two of her ten as she scores in the paint and Buckles leads the way with 16. Here's another bucket for her but CPCI eliminates Leroy tonight 44-41. Dunlap celebrating a state champion today, honoring senior Nick Mueller, the first state wrestling champ in school history. He won his title Saturday night, and he talks about making school history at our website. Plus, we've got a story on Morton's signing day for five senior student athletes. That's also at our website, ciproud.com. Also tonight, Illini Bluffs and A-Town won their sectional semis in Bushnell. They'll play for the sectional championship there on Thursday evening.